Hi everybody, this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Society, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today what I want to do is talk about Universal Geneve. Now, recently Universal Geneve was bought by Breitling. Breitling itself is owned by a company called the Partners Group located in Zug, Switzerland. So there's you have a company that's owned by another company and they paid 69 million bucks for Universal Geneve. And the question I was wondering, really two things, well, I wonder what the new ones are going to look like and I wonder why they bought it. And one of the sort of looking at a lot of different things, I'm wondering whether Breitling is going for what may be called a modern vintage. In other words, they're, going to, they're buying Universal Geneve so they can take a lot of their vintage watches or their vintage styles and then put in new movements or do something like that with them and then come out with a new line of watches. Judging from what they have so far, I don't know <laughs> okay, what they're going to do. So, if you're a Breitling fan or Universal Geneve fan, I'll let you decide. But let me show you what I found. Now, I went to their website, and they just had a couple different models there, really. Uh, they had the Universal Geneve uh, Okinos chronograph with a caliber UG71.2, which is based on the ETA 2892-2, uh, which one of my favorite ETA movements uh, as far as they go, automatic. Um, they didn't have the prices, but I found one, a pre-owned one for $39.20 that looked to be in pretty good shape. I don't, I don't know how much more or less that would be than the MSRP, but I'm assuming it's less. Now the next one I looked at was, uh, they didn't have too many. Uh, to check out the uh, Universal Geneve website, the new one. They had one called the Okeanos Moon Timer, caliber 71.4, almost identical in a lot of ways to uh, the chronograph. I looked at this, uh, it looks, you know, it's a nice looking watch, um, but I don't know what they're going to do with it. Now, this next one is what really threw me. I found the Universal Geneve Okinos Moon Chronograph. Wonderful looking watch. On the site, on the Universal Geneve site, I looked up the information about it, and it's quartz. I said, what, what, wait a minute. Now, I took a look at some for sale. This one I found on Chrono24. Uh, website and it was not a quartz watch it's an automatic and uh, I was uh, what are they what are they up to <laughs> why would they do that now one of the most famous ones that they made was called the pole router and the pole router was done I think for SAS this is back in the 50s when they they started using the polar route from flying from California over the poles to Europe rather than going around. And Gerald Gent did, uh, did the design. The watch on the right is one I found for sale. It's a, probably one of the better ones. It has a sort of a burlap bag, uh, Hilo Shea on it. It probably looked better <laughs> in another way, but it was. You know, it's an interesting design. I, I know some people with pole routers are cool watches. I've always liked them. I like the concept, too. Okay, so this one, they had Urban Jurgensen, not Urban Jurgensen, Universal Geneve Caliber 215, automatic winding with a micro rotor. Now, micro rotor, they were using a micro rotor back in the 50s. This is before most others that I know about were using a micro rotor. This is so they could have a, a flatter uh, a flatter watch, a thinner watch. Okay, so now on the new website they have at Universal 
before Universal to Native, I found the new pole router. And I looked at it, it was very attractive. And then I look up the movement and it's quartz. They have a G77 quartz in there. So I don't know what they're going to do, but I, I think it, it's going to be interesting to see. I, I, maybe they just put out a couple of quartz watches for placeholders for the time being. But it's going to be very interesting because um, the Universal Denise had been owned since 1989 by the Steelux Holding Company in Hong Kong. And now <laughs> that was the owner, the holding company. Now the holding company is in Switzerland, so is Universal Denise. So stand by. I would love to hear your comments, your thoughts on this, your knowledge of of Universal Geneve and what you think about Breitling buying it and what they might do with it or how they might be integrated into Breitling. Uh, it's an opportunity to subscribe if you like and until next time this is Bill Sanders for Watch Art Science, the art and science of Watts Collection.